Well, good evening. It's Saturday, June 29th tonight. Uh, just out. Uh, all gonna run one tank off uh, of Cornerstone, essentially uh, herbicide to kill the grass and equivalent to Roundup. Um, uh, Cornerstone uh, with some AMS um, in as well um, in a surfactant. So I'm um, just going to do that. Oops. Have the sprayer. Um, there was just one area um, in the video that um, I, when I was walking the field, I had said there was, there was one particular area uh, that um, really over the past couple years it's had uh, um, pretty strong grass pressure and I'm just kind of hoping to uh, to finally get in um, it's actually um, since I've started doing this um, um, I didn't go in the pre-emerge typically did a really good job on on almost all of the acres but um, what I figure there's about 20 that I really want to get in especially with last summer where it was um, uh, where you had the drought, where the grass really had time to take over uh, compared to the to the corn um, that struggled in that area. So I'm going to go out tonight, get that sprayed, and then switch the sprayer over to uh, uh, to be able to do the um, side dressing and the drop hoses for that. So it uh, shouldn't take very long. Uh, 20 acres uh, doesn't take long to get over at all. So we'll do that. Well, um, we, uh, almost 10 acres in, um, so about halfway done. You can see uh, this is uh, more of the lighter areas that have had grass issues, but uh, just getting this taken care of. You can see the sprayer going. I do run the uh, auto steer on this. Um, I don't have RTK, but actually I've I found the uh, subscription that I have uh, to be well enough uh, that once um, I plant all of my acres at either a uh, 90 degree angle or a zero degree, so either straight north or straight east and west. Um, and then once I line it up, really I just use the adjuster to to change it up a little, but for the most part it stays on track so um, I use that and then monitor but it allows me to be able to look back and look at the sprayer but I'm gonna turn around quick well, anyways just getting back to this um, yeah not too bad um, so essentially what I'm spraying is uh, one quart per acre of Cornerstone 5 plus and then uh, one quart per hundred gallons of uh, surfactant and then uh, 12 pounds uh, per hundred gallon of AMS and that's just what went in the front tank uh, mixture for tonight um, like I said that will do about 20 acres um, and that will be enough to like right here it's it's clean um, it's just a case of uh, there was just too many spots that I've been seeing um, and last year I think uh, this, this is going to be dry right here anyways but it was still I think um, having the grass pressure really um, impacted the corn so uh, might as well get in now and do it but um, 13 acres down, it kind of slowed down a little bit. <laughs> it's getting darker uh, quicker than I thought it was going to tonight, but nothing that uh, we'll be able to get this done. And, and then, yeah, uh, get it switched over for side dressing.
kind of ended up having to turn the uh, lights on. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's almost 10. <laughs> I was going to say it's starting to get uh, darker sooner um, since the 29th, but no, it's just laid out. So. <laughs> but this. Uh, this won't be too bad. This will get done pretty easy. I think I've said that about 10 times in this video so far, but get over this and call it a night. So we go leave it from there, and uh, next time uh, the video will either be maybe scouting the fields again or, uh, or actually side dressing, which I'm really excited for. We'll get to it then.